Hi everyone, this is your host, the Stupid Genius 55. I am playing Super Mario 63. Uh, I'm doing a Let's Play of Super Mario 63. Uh, I can never keep the intro consistent. Well, I think we just got that. Well, as I, was, I was about to say, I think we already discussed that, but we have a couple more toads here, it seems. Hello, Mario. Do you know what? There's a secret. Oh, I already. No, this is the same guy. I mean, uh, I, meant, I meant to do a spin jump. Sorry. Sorry, viewers. So you say you've collected 16 giant sprites already. Oh, really? Okay! So forever- I'm, I'm sorry! Something like that, you, you only give me a quizzical tilt, you don't give me your surprise look or your really happy look after all that remoting you did. Oh. No, why? Well... Um... Yeah, uh... <laughs> as you can see, we've pretty much gotten... I also said just pretty much, but... Um, I've shown... I, I think I'm gonna go to Bowser's, um, lair here. I guess before we do, I'll, um... Go check on Eddie, see if there's anything up with him. And... Is this the same guy? Oh, Mario. And all the stuff he says. And let's just go to Sling Star, because this is all... Up oh, another, another toad, another toad, another toad, another toad. Hello, Mario. Aren't elevators so fun? I could ride this thing all day, or maybe it... Is this guy the new one? We, or I mean, we. Um. Okay. All right, toadies, toads. Hi, Mario. Wow, you've collected quite a few shine sprites. Oh, that's all he says. Okay. Um, I'll go back to the sort of main-ish room. Um. Now, just like in Mario 64. If you're familiar, I guess I won't spoil it for you if you've already kind of known. But yeah, it's a trap door. I was in the dark world, or yeah, whatever it's called. Um, as just like Mario 64, it contains an eight-red coin mission and just you know a regular old, you know, beating Bowser mission. The eight-red coins are not that. I'll show you how to get them. They're not that hard to find, but um, they may. I don't remember if they did this in Mario 64 or not, but they do make you redo the. Uh, I haven't really played Mario 64 extensively. I should warn you. But they, they, they make you redo the entire level once you've collected the Aira Coin Star. And it's not like you're going out of your way or anything. These are pretty easy to find. You're, you're just going where you usually go. Now, these things will crush you if you... Whoa, okay. I really shouldn't be dying here. I mean, and by shouldn't, I mean in the sense that it'd be a bad idea. Not that it, I really... Not gonna, you know... Um, and by the way, the coins don't respawn when you defeat enemies, you know, when you... Are. Well, once you've died. I should probably mention that now. If you didn't notice already, that block... If you want to get the red coin down there, uh, that block will catch you. The one, you know, the stone block down below. And then you have thwomps, which you can ride up on. <laughs> Our fourth star coin. Red coin, excuse me. I, I'm going to show you how to get each uh, red coin. Um, it, I don't really think... It, it, they are pretty easy to get, just to... Just so so that it's not that hard to get these. There, you don't have to go out of your way for any of them. Actually, sorry, but <laughs> boy, why was I so? Uh, why did I sound weird there for a second? I mean, I, I know I sound weird every second, but like you know, um, it, not my usual way. Of course, I, I know, I know, I sound weird. And I just repeated the same thing almost exactly. So. Let's. Uh, also, those bullies are pretty easy to, to deal with. Although, then again, once you, if you have to climb back up, then you have to deal with, you know... Uh, and, and just climb up these things to get the fifth red coin. Um, if, you climb, have to, if you fall down, you have to climb back up. You actually have to deal with those bullies uh, again. Um, I, Bowser's got you on his evil elevator. Such a creative name. Yeah, my rule of thumb is just make sure you avoid... I was about to say, make sure you avoid these thwomps here, but my rule of thumb is always make sure that after a thwomp, another thwomp has fallen, uh, move to another, another one. And I kind of almost-ish glitched my way, you know, up. Um, yeah, you can just spin jump there to get across this platform, but I will be showing you the conventional way to get back up, or maybe I will, maybe I won't. Uh, well, actually, I don't think I need to show you, because if you want to just go up the conventional way, all you have to do is just, uh, climb up here. 
Yeah, just, just climb up around here, so not really that much rocket science. Now, here is, uh, here is where you'd go down the pipe to get to Bowser's sort of room, but we're here to collect all the eight red coins, so... Yeah, you're gonna wanna use, you know, your spin. They'll take you down here. Now, Bowser's gonna tell you that um, his warp pipe disables floods hovering here is useless, but it's actually not because... No, no, I, I meant to use... Oh, no, 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 no. I meant to press C. Okay. Things looking pretty bad here. Let me... I have to do this uh, segment here again. Now let's just come back down. And do I have to deal with the bully? Please, I'm going to have to deal with the bully. Or maybe I won't go back up at all. Or oh yeah, I am. Whoops. Okay. Second, I thought I wouldn't take it wasn't taking me back up. And why are these? Okay, these things are coming up a bit more sporadically than I thought. But flood makes this a lot easier. <laughs> but yeah, of course you wouldn't get the most level if you didn't fall like I did. Ugh. Yeah. I hope I don't run out of water. Um. But yeah, you just have to go. Oh, uh, the stars back up here. But I. I'm gonna have to. I, I want to grab that star coin. So let's refill up on our flood. Now let's just come back up here and collect the star coin. Um, and I don't know what that bullet bill is doing there for, but all I have to do is just collect the shine sprite. I keep calling it a star. And for some, for some reason, it takes us back to the main hall. I mean, granted, there's a trap door, so I guess a uh, you know. Uh. I'm gonna visit this toad. Does he say the same thing, or is it different? Oh no, uh, Corneria, yeah, he does. he says the same thing. Um, I'm interested in this. So, I guess I'll see you back at the, uh, warp pipe. Just going to the level again. And we're back, so just as Bowser said below, don't, you know, don't bother bringing and getting flood in your second run, because it doesn't... It won't come through here if you do. Uh, tough luck. Looks like the princess is in here. Guahaha. Go ahead. Just, grab it. just try to grab me by the tail. And when Blake, you could never dive into my tail to grab it and tail to grab it and swing me left. Swing me around by pressing left and right repeatedly. Yeah, to defeat him, you do, you know, spin attacks and Nah, I'm joking. You just dive into his tail. Uh, here is an opportune moment. Uh, I've had varying degrees of difficulty on this sometimes. Sometimes if you don't place your jump correctly, it can, uh, or your, you know, Bowser's tail correctly, and sometimes he can, it is possible for him to, you know, just change direction without you, you know, noticing, but it is possible to throw him, um, above the bombs instead of, you know, into the bombs, and that's always frustrating when that happens, but, you know, just make sure you don't do it. I had actually defeated him much, much more easily than I did last time, okay. He's always varied in difficulty for me, so... Gwaaah! Oh boy, this is Paper Mario. You know, Ultimate Pikachu Fan 1 once said that this game reminded him of, like, uh, the graphics were both... reminded him of both Yoshi's Island and Paper Mario. Now, at first, I didn't know why he saw Paper Mario in it. Now, I kind of see, with Bowser just flowing off like a piece of paper there. CONGRATULATIONS! You have obtained the Bowser key that unlocks the basement of the castle. I mean, come on, if it's written in all caps, I'm assuming he's yelling. He's screaming. Uh, let's see. Mwahaha, Mario. You thought I was foolish enough to give you the key to the basement that easily? That key you have is cursed. It will warp you far away from the castle. Mwahaha. So you curse the key, and all it does is warp me away? Uh, it doesn't lock me in a prison or something? Okay. Uh, I thought Kamek was kind of, you know, not... Uh, I guess I'm just... Uh, I just assume that it's some kind of... You know, like, he, for some reason, I will, he's able to send me far away from the castle, but not in, like, a prison within the castle or something. But we have a new flood here. Turbo Flood. Uh, it, it, it propels you very fast, uh, horizontally instead of vertically. Like so. But what you're going to want to do is you want to go underwater briefly. Uh, go down, like, right here. And, you're gonna, and we'll hit that switch. I don't know if there's a time limit to hitting these switches, but I don't want to find out. Um, 
So let's just get down here quickly and get both switches. A platform has appeared. Uh, you didn't have to bring out that text box. You could have just showed us, so. Show, don't tell. More like tell, don't show. Why did I say that? That made no sense. Th that made no nothing. No sense. No. No purpose. None of that good stuff. Well, then again, good stuff. But, let's... Um... Yeah, you just use Turbo Flood to get you across here. And we also have another Flood, which we're about to see. Um, the castle's within sight, so I don't really think it was that far, Bowser, especially since you left a, a Turbo Flood right there. I mean, if you just teleported me right here, I'd literally have no idea. Actually, yeah, I would. Sorry, never mind. I would. Now this is Rocket Flood. And the final addition, press C. Uh, it charges up your... It charges up... Basically, it's a flood that charges up for a second and then propels you, like, instantly really fast. So... And you have to be on the ground to do it, I think. Uh, so let's get rid of you. And... Um, okay, I was able to do it midair. I guess this game is making a liar out of me. And then you have some basic, you know, mechanics of blood just down there, like with timing your, you know, usage. Now, uh, I cover flood will be helpful around here. I don't know, is it necessary to get a river flood around here? Um, why does it have two? Okay, um... Oh dear, with other for flood, you can't reach the next platform, but wait, pre you can press shift to switch between different floods you have collected, go on, press it. Or you can also press the pause button, and this is what the flood thing was here for. And so, yeah, we just want to select our rocket flood. But you can also use the shift key, it's also useful in doing that. Now let's go back to hover. I don't know why I would, you'd ever want to just go with no flood whatsoever, but okay. Alright, game. Um, I guess it's kind of nice that the option's there, that they took a little bit extra time to put in that option. Um, yeah. And let's just grab this. Uh, if you really wasted, like, you know, enough water in that level to... Oh, wait, I need rocket flood, don't I? Okay. Maybe yeah, I will just press the shift key. This is. You know, taking a little while, except here's our star. So basically, we've entered sort of a second area of the castle, so to speak. As in, I'm not, you know. Now we can go into the basement, and we have Turbo Flood and Rocket Flood, which is very nice, so. I suppose I'll just speak to these toads if they if there's any who say anything different. I think uh, no, this guy's just from one from upstairs. But let's see who you. Um, dang it, they don't speak say anything new. I mean, now maybe, maybe you'll see if uh, this guy's just the same one as before, right? Yeah, what are you doing up here? Actually, you were down there before, but uh, let's go see Eddie. Um. Hi, Mario. Uh, wow, you collect quite a few shine sprites. No, he doesn't say anything about the basement. Um, yeah, basically, the basement is sort of the second area you go, and this here, if I remember correctly, is like the third place. Yeah, well, it says key from Bowser, so yeah, it is like the third kind of area. And if you want to know how to get to the basement, you just climb in here, and in the next episode, I'll be showing you, uh, the basement, basically. 